All right, what's up guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. We are starting off with an out of breath with an out of breath bench. Jesus! That was a set of seven and a set of six. We've upped it on a hundred kilos. Surplus doing bits. Okay. Drop this video a like if you're excited, people. Because I am. <laughs> Let's get it started. So a lot of you are going to be wondering about my body weight. Understandably so, right? I've not mentioned it for a long time because I haven't really cared and I also haven't really been weighing myself. Depending on what I see in the mirror, um, which for the most part has been very, very good, you know? Despite after nights out, pizzas, KFCs, future eating challenges, I feel pretty good. I feel really good, in fact, um, and I'm excited to start this next kind of phase after this is done because there's not long left of this bulking phase. I said it wasn't going to be very long. It's only been like three, four months, maybe maybe five if you kind of count. No, not really. Less. It's not been long. It's not really a long enough period of time, if you ask me, to be in a sustained caloric surplus. However, you have to bear in mind my kind of journey, if you like. For the past like 10 months before that, I was in a caloric deficit but still building muscle purely because I was optimizing things that just weren't optimized before. It's as simple as that. I optimized my sleep, I optimized my training plan, I made my own, I made it custom to me, to what we had in the gym, and then I just changed it around as and when and it was perfect. It worked fantastically. I will be releasing that plan very, very soon. Follow Instagram for more info on that. Links in the description box and all that. Right. My weight, I'm in the 180 pounds, right? I, want to, I wanted to reach that as a maximum um, for this kind of bulking phase. I didn't really give myself a time limit. I never really planned it that far in advance. However, I said I wanted to be around about 180 pounds so that I could lose the 20 pounds and be in the 160s, low 160s, high 150s by the end of this cut. And that is gonna be very, very easy if I just continue this for, for another couple of weeks and then start to dial it in a little bit more again, you know? Because I've still been doing my cardio, I've still been doing everything like that. That's why I feel like this is the most consistent and, and productive period of training that I've had in terms of uh, that that kind of nine, 10 months where I was in a deficit but building muscle, that was frigging awesome. However, the increase in calories has definitely made a difference and I definitely feel a lot fuller. Yes, the love handles come back a little bit, but only a little bit. If you compare myself now to myself at this point last year, I look like a completely different frigging person. I mean, you can tell it's me because of the face and everything, but the rest of the physique, you know, it, it looks a lot, a lot different. Um, and so I'm very, very, very happy. I don't care what anybody says about surplus, dieting, blah, blah, blah. I don't care what anyone says about that. If you think I look the same right now, as I did this time last year, you're a dummy. <laughs> it's as simple as that because you cannot deny the changes. I feel like I have made unbelievably good progress this past few months in particular. I've just been loving training, loving making videos, and I've been absolutely frigging smashing it. And that has shown in the, in the gains that I've made, you know? I don't look like what I looked like even a few months ago. I can hit a vacuum just as well as I could at 165 pounds, and now I'm at 182, 183, you know? Which makes me think that I've kept my body fat levels down by keeping it tame, by not going nuts with the, with the bulk, the surplus. It's been a, a surplus of like 300 calories, 500 calories at most. That's a small surplus, but it has been enough considering I've been in a three to 500 calorie deficit. All of a sudden, I have five, six hundred, seven hundred calories a day more to use as fuel. Hence the PBs, hence the deadlifts, hence the bench press, hence the shoulder press, and the squat. That is coming too. Stay tuned for that one rep max video. 
Um, I, I, I don't know, this is just the best starting point I have had. I mean, obviously that's how it works, you know, you know, you get slightly, slightly less bulked up and then slightly more leaner and then slightly less bulked up and slightly more leaner. And that's just how it works as you go along. However, I, th I feel like I need to, to be honest, give myself credit for how I, how I feel about the way I look right now, because I've never been this okay with how I look peak bulk, if that makes sense. And at the end of the day, that is the most important thing. I'm not a competitor. I'm not a pro. I'm not a model doesn't matter. All that matters is what I see in that thing right there. And I see progress. And that's all that matters. So, assuming that I start next Friday, that would be the, oh my god, that would be the 21st of February, okay? Assuming I start then, that would give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, th well, 13 weeks to lose from 182 down to, because I'm not going to get any heavier now, I'm, I'm just, I'm kind of subconsciously dialed it in already as it is, right? So 182 down to into the 160s. I would like to be in the 160s for body power because I definitely have a few more pounds of muscle on my frame than I did this time last May. Um, and so if I am below the weight that I was at body power this year, which was 172 pounds, give or take, if I'm in the 160s with a few more pounds of muscle, um, you know, I'll look a lot better than what I did last year. And that is my entire goal. And while I'm on that subject, I've seen a post and I've seen people taking the piss out of people who, who diet down for, for body power, right? I don't understand this. I don't have a holiday booked. I don't have a festival to go to. I don't have anything to really look forward to as of yet in the summer. But I want to have a purpose and have a goal to look better. And I also want to have a consistent form of tracking, the same time of year, the same lighting, the same place, the same environment. And I want to look better than I did the year before. So because I don't have a competition, I don't have a holiday, I don't have a festival, I don't have a wedding, I don't have oh any, I don't have a birthday. And oh, actually, I do. My birthday is after May, but I don't care what I look like for my birthday. Anyway, body power is mine and the old man's. While we're on that topic, point of of reference, if you like, what changes have we had from that point in time the year before, the year before that? Have we? I, it's just what we like to do. And I don't like that people criticise that, because who the hell are you to criticise someone for having a consistent goal? Just don't understand. No one has said anything to me. I, I want to get that straight. No one has, has, has said, I've just no I just know it's a bit of a thing. It's like, oh, the body power cut. And it's like, well, yeah, it's, it's my holiday, if you like. So that is my holiday day that I'm dieting down for. There'll be plenty of people watching that are the same. So why laugh at it? I just, I just don't get it.
So anyway, back to the weight, right? If I am 182 pounds and I have 13 weeks, I would expect a minimum of 13 pounds lost. So 182 minus 13 would get me down to 172. Yeah, perfect in the 160s. As long as I'm in the 160s by body fat, I mean, don't get me wrong, if, if I'm not, it's really not the end of the world. That's not how I approach things. I don't like having a number because, you know, it can, the scales can be deceptive. But anyway, I would, if I'm honest, I would like to be in the 160s because that is a lower weight, i.e. I would be leaner than I was last year. However, I think I could be high 170s and be leaner than I was last year, but you get my point. I'd like to be in the 160s. Um, and that is that. That is the goal I'm gonna set myself and I'm gonna achieve it. So, how are we looking at 182? I personally think if you compare my face, you know, this, this jawline that's here right now, that, you know, that, that at 182, 183 pounds, I didn't weigh myself this morning either, I probably should have done because this, this video. Anyway, to have that, uh, this body weight, is completely new to me. Normally my face would be, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong, everyone has their bad angles like this, and I could just talk to you for the entire video like this, but no one would watch it. People wanna see real life, you know? Or real life angled like this. All helped along by a fresh fade, of course, but you know, my, my face, my shoulders, you know, I have lines in my shoulders which are just never normally there at this kind of body weight. I'm normally a bit higher body fat percentage. What else? My, my love handles, you know, they're there again, but they're not there anywhere near nowhere near as much as they were this time last year or the last time I was at this body weight. And that, guys, is so, it's such a good feeling. It's so satisfying because it just means that my, my hard work, if you like, in the gym, I train five, six days a week. I train a lot, I put a lot of work in and it's nice that, you know, it, it's paying off because I feel like, especially in this past few months, with um, social media and everything like that, I've just freaking smashed the videos, I've smashed the sessions, because the two go hand in hand. I just get into this freaking zone in the home gym where I'm like, right, today, I'm doing a pool day. Today, I'm gonna be talking about this, I'm gonna talk about this, I'm gonna spontaneously talk about something else, and boom, there's my video. On top of that, I'll set the tripod up here, I'll do this, I'll film that, I'll put the music there, you know? I just get into this flow and everything becomes a lot more productive. I use my time very wisely, I find anyway. I feel like anyway. Don't get me wrong, I'm not perfect, but I'm way better than I used to be. And I think all of these things um, coming together makes for my, my progress in the gym and, you know, actually having a jawline in low 180 pounds. So I'm excited to see how, even after 10 pounds, let alone when I lose 20, um, I'm excited to see how I look. Because I think it could be good, it could set me in good stead for the future, you know? Um, learn a lot more about my body at a lower body fat percentage because I've never really been there. I, I haven't, I just haven't. Um, and so I want to get lower body fat percentage than last year and that is the goal. Push it a little bit further, test my body to learn a little bit more for when I compete in a couple of years time. Because my goal, right, is to get a little bit less bulky, which I have, and then a little bit leaner. And then a little less bulky, which I will, and then a little bit leaner. To the point where when I only have to lose 20, 25 pounds, and it's actually a relatively easy cut. Because dieting and competition shredding and all this kind of stuff can actually be very difficult. But if you take your time and, and do this kind of process and accept that you're not going to be able to do it overnight like that, then all of a sudden I'm hoping anyway, I mean I don't know because I haven't done it yet, but I'm hoping it will lead to a much easier competition prep because it can be hard for some people. I'm, I'm, I'm a hungry fella, I like to eat, you know? So competition prep I feel like could be very difficult for me. So I want to make it as easy as possible and be in the best starting position possible, which will take me another couple of years and that's that. Plus I'll have a lot more muscle mass in a couple of years and I'll stand a lot more chance on stage. So anyway, let me know your thoughts because I, I feel good. And of course there's gonna be people that are watching this and going, Liam, you still look like shit. And it's like, well, yeah, but I look better than I did yesterday and I look better than I did last year and the year before that. And that is literally all I can do as I keep on saying to you guys, stop comparing yourselves to others. You'll be so much happier when you just compare yourself to your previous self one way or another, okay? As long as you are seeing progression, whether it's mental, whether it's physical, whatever, you will be happier. You just gotta sometimes change your perspective a little bit to see what it is that you have grown from, you know? Okay, thanks a lot for watching today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Exciting things coming very, very soon. Alpha Elite video, Alpha Elite launch, uh, let's get checked video. We've got full day of eating in the works as well. It's gonna be good. 
Stick around if you're new here. Thank you very much for watching today, guys. I appreciate you. Together, we will grow. Oh, and merch coming very soon. Did some polls on my Instagram. Went down well. Coming soon. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.